Yeah. So far, so good. I use good. dictate. Good Siri. Job. Two thumbs up. Yeah, there you go. Hey, you guys, it's been chilly. We know that. Yes. But do you know how long it's been since we've had a below average temperature month here in the Twin Cities? I would guess December. December. I was going to oh. say. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. You two should be married. Uh, <laughs> it's actually been 20 months since the last oh, time it's really? happened. Going back to August 2015. That was the last really? one. And that's a record. It's never, we've never had a stretch this long. Of below average. So, is, are you bringing it up because May has been so crappy? So far, we are running below average for May. I wouldn't have used that Excuse exact my, word on television, I Frank. I, I, I apologize <laughs> for the honesty. But Sorry you know that. what? It doesn't matter because we still have a lot of excuses to get out and enjoy beautiful sights like this. Uh, the cool weather has, has really not put a damper on uh, a lot of the hardcore park enthusiasts. And in fact, Minneapolis is the best parks in America. That just came out today, according to the mm -hmm. Trust for I Public Lands Park Score <clears throat> Index. And this is a video from Hiawatha Park and Lake Nokomis. Nice job, guys. All right. Uh, about a half degree below average so far in the month of May. You can see that we've had some pretty good streaks of warmth for sure, including our first 80 degree plus day, which happened back on May 14th. But for the past week, we have been below average every day, and that has contributed to this. Now, we still have a little over a week to go in the month, so we certainly could see May finish either around normal or a little above normal, but right now, we are running below. Temperatures this evening not terribly cold after a fairly chilly day. These numbers are pretty typical for this time of year. 60 right now in Webster, but you see most of the weather watchers are in the 50s. And what we're seeing in, for example, places like Webster and Lake City, even here in the metro, is a little more cloud cover, and that's kept temperatures from falling. A little clearer skies in parts to the north and west, and that's why we've got a little cooler temperature there. Here's a look at the clouds over the past six hours. You see how they were pretty widespread earlier today, and now they're sort of shrinking and drying up. I think through the overnight tonight, with calm winds developing in many spots through the overnight, and especially in areas west and southwest of the Twin Cities, seeing skies go mostly clear, we'll probably see a little bit of patchy fog form overnight tonight. Shouldn't be thick enough to slow anything on the roads tomorrow. Overnight low tonight, 50 in the Twin Cities. We'll have some chillier pockets up north, 39 Grand Rapids, Bemidji 41, Hayward 41, but again, these temperatures are, are pretty typical of this time of year. Tomorrow looks pretty good, actually. It's going to be mostly dry. We'll start with a fair amount of sunshine, and 50s quickly become mid-60s by noon. And then later in the afternoon, even as clouds roll in, I think we'll stay mostly dry. High tomorrow in the metro, about 71, and generally in the southern half to third of Minnesota and across Wisconsin will be in the low 70s. Northern Minnesota, more like mid-60s. Rain chances are not zero tomorrow, but they're pretty slim. You can see through the afternoon, a bank of clouds moves in, maybe a few passing showers out west or a sprinkle here. Then we set it all up again for Friday. Friday afternoon with a cool front, I think a line of some scattered thunder showers will develop. Mid-afternoon through early evening and then clearing out. So that means that for the Twins game, when they come back to town Friday, it should be dry. High temperature 76. Then Saturday, uh, the drier weekend day, showers and scattered thunderstorms Sunday and Monday, Memorial Day, both getting a little cooler in there, mm -hmm. but not as bad as last weekend. No, everybody Good agrees point. last weekend was terrible. This weekend should be better. Good. Well, thank goodness. Thanks, Mike.